Hey guys, I'm Chani and you're watching The Art of Science. Are you wondering why am I carrying all these heavy books around? Well, I was recently given a very fun challenge to do and now I'm going to give you that challenge. So are you guys ready? First, we need to make two piles of books of equal height. Keep them a few centimeters apart and then keep a thin flimsy A4 sized paper perched on top of these books. And here is the challenge. We need to balance this phone on top of this paper. Well, that fell instantly. Well, before we start this challenge, there are a couple of rules. First rule is that the books need to be at least 18 centimeters apart. Next, you can use only one single A4 sized paper which is between 100 to 120 GSM thick. Next, you cannot use anything other than the books. Next, you can keep the paper under a maximum of one book. And finally, folding of the paper is allowed. Well, I tried everything that you're currently thinking. First off like this definitely did not work. The paper fell as soon as the phone barely touched it. What about if I keep the paper under a book? Yep, no, that was a fail. Okay, now I'm going to fold it once to see if that works. Nope. Nope. Maybe fold it again. Nope, that didn't work either. Well, I almost broke my brain trying to think of this. And then I took some help and figured it out. Now, before you see the solution, quickly pause this video and go try this by yourself. Well, the solution was astoundingly simple. All we have to do is fold the paper in a fan or an accordion style like this. Then, when we open it and keep it on top of these books, without even keeping any kind of weight of the books on top of the paper, the phone very easily balances on top of it. So what even happened? How did this work? Well, the science behind it is pretty interesting. It all lies in the small ridges of the folded paper. Firstly, load distribution. When the paper is flat, the weight of the phone is concentrated on a small area of the paper. This causes the paper to bend easily and the phone to fall through the gap. But when the paper is folded in a fan style, the folds create multiple small peaks and valleys, effectively increasing the number of contact points and distributing the weight of the phone more evenly across the paper. Second is increased rigidity. A flat piece of paper is flexible and that's why it has low rigidity. It bends easily under the weight of the phone. On the other hand, folding the paper in a fan style increases its rigidity. The folds add structural strength, similar to the way corrugated cardboard is much stronger than a flat piece of cardboard. The peaks and valleys of the folded paper act like tiny beams, supporting the weight of the phone and preventing it from collapsing. Finally, structural shape. In its flat form, the paper lacks the structural shape needed to support the weight effectively. It acts more like a hammock, which can only hold weight if there is enough tension. The fan folded paper has a series of angled folds that provide an internal structure. These angles resist deformation, allowing the paper to hold more weight without collapsing. Were you guys able to solve it? If you used a different and a unique solution, let us know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next week.